Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Divya Jyoti Das and in today's video, I want to find out the speed of light in a medium that is in motion. I want to find out the speed of light in a moving medium. So for that, I have an example here, a tunnel through which water is moving at very, very high speeds. And there's a light photon which is traveling inside this water medium. Now you may also deal with other examples like a glass slab, which is in motion and there is a light photon in motion within that glass slab. So the both the problems are kind of similar. So let's suppose that this is some kind of a water medium that is in motion. It is traveling at very, very high speeds. Let's suppose the velocity of V. And this is the speed of this water medium with respect to some kind of a lab reference frame, which I'm going to call as at rest. So with respect to some kind of an observer in a lab reference frame, this water medium is traveling at a velocity of V. So therefore, I'm going to associate a frame of reference, which I'm going to call as S. And with respect to the lab frame of reference, the water body is traveling at a velocity V. So therefore, I'm going to call this water body body as the frame of reference of S dash. So an observer with respect to this moving medium, I'm going to associate as S dash, which is the reference frame associated with the moving medium. Now I'm interested in figuring out what is the speed of the light photon with respect to the lab frame, because I already know what is the speed of the light photon with respect to the medium any light photon traveling within a medium, whether that is a medium of water or medium of glass or any other substance can be written in terms of its refractive index n. So if n is the refractive index, it simply means the speed of light in vacuum divided by the speed of light in that particular medium. So the speed of light in this particular medium can be written as the speed of light in vacuum divided by the refractive index, right? So the speed of a light in a medium is given by C upon N, where C is the speed of light in vacuum, which is 3 to 10 to 8 meters per second, and N is the refractive index. Since this is the speed of the light photon in the medium, what should be the speed of the same light photon with respect to an observer at rest if the medium is in motion with respect to that observer? For this, I'm going to use the relativistic velocity transformations, which I have derived in one of my previous videos. The relativistic velocity transformation equations or the relativistic velocity addition equations basically give us a relationship between the measurements of velocities of different objects with respect to two different observers in relative motion. So for our case, let me define the parameters. The velocity of the second observer with respect to the first observer is defined as V. And the velocity of the photon with respect to the second observer, that is with respect to the S dash frame of reference, is defined as Ux dash, which comes out to be nothing but C upon N. And the velocity of the same light photon with respect to the lab frame of reference is defined as Ux, which we do not know yet, we have to calculate it. But we know the relationship that exists between ux and ux dash. For that, I'm going to use the inverse relativistic velocity transformations, which says that ux is equal to ux dash plus v upon one plus ux dash v upon c squared. ux, which is the speed of the light photon with respect to the lab frame, and ux dash, which is the speed of the light photon with respect to the moving frame, they are connected by this equation. ux is equal to ux dash plus v divided by one plus ux dash v upon c squared, where v is the speed of the medium. V is the speed of the S dash frame with respect to the S. If you're not familiar with this equation, you may go back to one of my previous videos where I have derived the relativistic velocity transformation equations. Now, if I'm going to plug our values into this particular equation, I will obtain my answer, right? So let me plug these values. What is Ux dash? Ux dash is nothing but C upon N. So I plug in C upon N plus V divided by one plus Ux dash is C upon N multiplied by v upon c square. So c and the square here gets cancelled and let me bring this equation to the other side of the board. So let me write it down here. So ux, which is the speed of the light photon with respect to the lab frame comes out to be c upon vn divided by n in the numerator and in the denominator you have cn plus V divided by Cn. So here I can cancel out N with this N and I end up getting C and in brackets you have C plus Vn 
divided by Cn plus V. So this is the speed of the light photon with respect to a lab frame with respect to which the medium is moving and the light photon is traveling at a velocity of c by n in that particular medium. I can simplify this expression by taking the n outside. So this becomes c upon n and within the bracket you have c plus vn divided by c plus v upon n. So this is the formula for the velocity of the light photon in a moving medium. Now in certain kinds of questions, they mention that the velocity with which the medium is moving with respect to the lab is actually very, very small compared to the speed of light itself. So under those situations where V is very, very small compared to the speed of light, we can still simplify this particular expression as, so for V very, very less than C, I can simplify this expression. To simplify it, I'll still use this expression, all right? So let me use this expression where C upon N plus V, I take inside a bracket. And the denominator is 1 plus V upon Cn, 1 plus V upon Cn to the power minus 1. So if V is very, very less compared to C, so V by C is actually a very small number. So this term actually is a very, very tiny number. So in that kind of a situation, I can expand this term. You see, I am sure that you must have heard of uh, this kind of an expression where 1 plus x to the power minus 1 where x is a very small number can simply be written as 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus x to the power 4 and on and on and on. I can use this kind of an expansion here in this particular expression. If I do that, this simply becomes c upon n plus v in the first bracket and in the second bracket, if I apply this particular expansion, it simply becomes 1 minus v upon c n plus v square upon c square n square minus v cube upon c cube n cube and on and on. Now here these terms v square upon c square is very very tiny because of this given condition. So these terms can be neglected. They are extremely small. So all these higher order terms we will neglect it. So in that kind of a situation the only terms that are left are c upon n plus v minus v upon n square minus v square upon c n. Again, this v square upon c term we can neglect given our condition. So finally, we end up getting the speed of the light photon comes out to be ux is equal to c upon n plus v 1 minus 1 upon n square. So this is the formula for the speed of a light photon in a moving medium if the medium is traveling at velocities much much less compared to the speed of light. So this is c upon n plus v into 1 minus 1 upon n square. So c upon n is the speed of the light photon in that medium itself but this additional term arises because we are observing that photon with respect to a lab frame of reference. So with respect to a lab frame of reference, the velocity of the photon is much greater compared to C upon n and it is greater by a factor of V multiplied by 1 minus 1 upon n square. So in a way, it looks as if the medium is dragging the light photon with an increase in velocity given by this particular factor. So as you can see from this video, even though the speed of light is a constant in vacuum for all observers, in a moving medium, however, the speed of light is different for different observers. And if the medium is at rest, the speed of light can be something. And if the medium is in motion, the speed of light for a rest observer may be something else. So that is all for today's video. I hope you learned something. Thank you very much.